So, rewire technology, what is it? Well, essentially, it allows you to use Audition as a host, and you can slave other soft synth type applications to it, synchronizing their transports. And this opens up a whole nother world of expansion for using beat based music and soft synths and beat based creators with Audition. Now, some rewire capable applications, things like Propeller Heads Reason or Ableton Live or Project 5, all of these support rewire technology. And I'm going to show you basically how it works. It's fairly confusing and there's a much more difficult explanation, but without getting into that, let's talk about the basics. Now, I'm going to be using the program called Reason. Now, if you don't have Reason, you can actually download a free demo off their site, which is www.propellerhead.se. That's Sam Evan and you can download a free demo. So I'm gonna show you using the demo, how you can use Reason with Audition, using Rewire technology, synchronizing the two together to make really cool beat-based electronic music alongside our real performed loops. Okay, so the first thing is, let's take a very quick listen to this session, and this is some basic disco drums. We've got a rock drum in there, and then a disco guitar and a disco bass. Let's check it out. All right, you get the idea. Maybe I'll just drop the volume of the guitar a little bit. And now what we want to do is enable Rewire, and we're going to launch Reason. So one of the benefits of using Rewire is that you can use transports from one or either application to control the other. They all work in sync. So let's go ahead and start by going up to the Options menu. And we're going to choose Device Properties, which will bring up the Device Properties window. And now we're going to go over to the Rewire tab. And when we do this, we're going to enable Audition as a Rewire host. By doing so, it automatically finds any Rewire Slave applications that you have installed. In this case, we have the Reason Demo. Click here to make it active, and now we have some track assignment decisions to make. So, if you're not familiar with Reason, it is a soft synth, and it allows you to use all different types of software synthesizers, software beatboxes, to create all different types of music. Now, it uses its own mixer, and you can actually have it feed Audition individual tracks, just like a multi-track application, or you can have it take all of its instruments, its beatboxes, its drum machines, its bass line generating machines, and sum them all to one stereo track. In this case, let's go ahead and do that. And that's actually the default setting. Insert some stereo output into first available track. Okay, you can see the other options here. Insert all outputs to individual tracks, or insert outputs manually using track device input dialogs. A lot of different options. All right, click on Launch to launch the Rewire Slave application. When we do this, Reason launches. This tells us that it's a demo version going to click OK, and Reason launches. Now, if you've never seen this before, you're probably thinking, wow, that's damn cool. And it is really cool. And as you can see here, you can actually see all the different modules that they have in here. Here's their drum machine. They got some subtractive synthesis, some processors, some loop players, all different really cool things. But for right now, we're going to focus on the mixer. And they happen to also load a default session. Now, if we click back to Audition, if we zoom out a little bit, You'll notice at the bottom here, track five, it says Reason Demo, mix left, mix right. So it's taking all of those instruments that are currently assigned and playing them through in track five, in sync with everything that we have in here. So if we click play or just hit the space bar, You can hear that we're playing our own song alongside Reason's demo song. Now, again, maybe we don't want all of that music. Maybe we just want some of their electronic drums and maybe a bass line. I'm just going to Alt-Tab back over to Reason. And inside this mixer here, I can see that they have a drum track. So I'm going to hit Play now from within Reason, which will trigger Audition. And you can see that I've soloed their drum and their bass. Sounds pretty good. So I'm going to click back to Audition, play these all together now. Cool. Now again, at this point, if we wanted to make changes, things like change the tempo, we can use the tempo setting in the Global Session Properties window. And say we wanted to speed the whole thing up, say to 135 beats per minute. By doing this, it not only updates Audition, but it updates Reason as well. Now 
And again, you can make changes to things in Reason. You can change parameters in Reason. You can change EQ. And you can rewire things inside Reason alone and keep adding all different types of musical attributes to your sessions. When you're ready, you can actually render out all of that music inside Audition in a mix down. Now, because you're probably wondering, well, where is this going? How are these two going together? Where's the audio going? Well, currently, it's virtually located here in track five. But if you actually want to compile all of these elements together, zoom out just a little bit more. And now let's just go ahead and select these tracks. We're going to right click in this available track and choose mix down to track bounce all audio clips. It performs a mix down. And if we solo this track, it's reason and audition compiled together. To further prove that to you, if we right click again and choose edit waveform, bringing it into the edit view, we can see that we've rendered all the instruments together. So let's go back to the multi-track view. And again, at this point, we could keep modifying the session. We could add more files. It's a really simple, easy way to integrate Audition through rewire technology with other rewire compatible applications like Propellerhead, Reason, and Ableton Live. Once you've rendered your file, if you're done working in Reason, click back to it. You want to close Reason. Go back up to Options, Device Properties. Click on the Rewire tab and disable Audition as a rewire host. A couple simple steps that'll save you a lot of headache in the end. <laughs> as sometimes when you've got multiple applications sharing and running together, you just want to make sure that the order of operations in terms of launching and closing are done properly. And this is the proper way to do it. Disable Audition as the host, click OK, and now you're ready to continue mixing, mastering, and performing all the other techniques that you like inside Audition's multitrack.